Hi, my name is Peach. Let me not waste your time. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a ghost zoom in DaVinci Resolve. If you're unfamiliar on how to keyframe, please go watch my AD Basics tutorial where I teach you the basics on how to keyframe. But if you do know, let's get started. I first have my clip like this, about a second long, and I'm going to add an adjustment clip on top of it. So I'm either going to go to my effects library, to go down to toolbox, to effects, and adjustment clip, and then drag it onto my clip. Or I can drag it from my media pool that I have right over here with all my other adjustment clips. Let's put it on top, extend it all the way to the end. Then we're gonna go inside Fusion. Once you're in Fusion, the first way that we're gonna do our ghost zoom is gonna be the basic way where it's gonna copy the same footage that we see here. So we're just gonna add a transform right here, add on like that. And then we're gonna keyframe the size at the beginning and then go to the settings and keyframe the blend right here. And then go to the end of our composition. I'm gonna hit the blend again. And then we're gonna keyframe the size. We're gonna change the size to a value of two. Go back to our blend and change that to a value of zero. Once we have that, we can see we have art go zoom just like this, but it's very slow. So what we're gonna do is adjust these graphs in the spline editor. So we're open up the spline graph we're going to right here. Then we're gonna open our blend. Then we're gonna change this graph to something like this like that and then we're gonna make change our size to a graph that goes to something like this all right and now we have our very basic ghost zoom just like that now let's say if you want to make a ghost zoom but that does not copy the same footage but has different effects on it you have to do a different process which i'll show you right now instead of adding a transform first we're actually going to add a merge node and connect it to our graph like this then we're going to connect both ends of the media in to the merge graph so both on the yellow and green input if i hold alt and click the line like this it will make a pipe router which will allow me to make sure our nodes will be organized like this it just creates a little box so you can move the line around like that and say we're going to add an effect on it so let's just say edge detect so hit shift space we're going to type in edge detect add it to our graph and put it right here you can see we have it right here i'm going to adjust the settings of the edge detect so i'm going to bring the threshold up like this or change the mode from RGB to grayscale, so everything will be white. And then this looks like it's good for me. Then in the merge node, if we look at it, we're gonna change the alpha gain down so we only have the edges that are gonna be shown. And then we're gonna do the same process with the size in the blend, but on the merge node right here. So let's keyframe the size and the blend at the beginning. Go to the end of the composition, keyframe these again. We're gonna change these values to two and then change this value to zero. And then we're gonna change our spline again into our spline graph over here. Let's do something like this and then change our blend to a graph that looks like this. And now we have a ghost zoom with edge tech on it. If you're interested in learning about how to make a rotation transition, click this video right here. Otherwise, subscribe and have a good day.